My name is Evan Halsted. I'm a professor here in the physics department, and I'm here to talk to you about the physics of Ant-Man. Ant-Man is a character in the Marvel Universe. Uh, he's been in a few movies now, and he has a few special abilities. He can be become really big, he can shrink really small, and he can also control ants. In the movie Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, a large portion of the movie takes place in what's called the Quantum Realm. In the Marvel Universe, the Quantum Realm is sort of a separate world where the rules of physics are different than they are in the uh, regular world. In our universe, we have our own version of the quantum realm, which isn't really a separate world, but it applies to things that are very, very tiny instead. But just like in the quantum realm in the Marvel Universe, in our quantum realm, the rules are very, very different and very bizarre from the perspective of what we typically experience in our everyday lives. In the movie, there's one scene where Ant-Man uh, is approaching something called the multiverse core and as he does so he sees lots of copies of himself all around and this is a reference to something called quantum superposition which is a real thing in quantum theory which basically says that something can exist in many different locations all at the same time the fact that something can exist in many locations at the same time can be interpreted in a few different ways. One of the interpretations, which is a little bit on the wild side, uh, is the multiverse uh, interpretation of quantum mechanics. And the idea there is that it's not that in any universe the object exists in many locations at the same time, it's that those many locations are all the possibilities of many different possible universes. And those all exist simultaneously, and we are just part of one of those universes. You may have seen this in shows like Loki that deal with the multiverse where people have different variants in different timelines and different universes that sort of split off and go in different directions. One of the fun parts about studying physics is that you get access to a world through the tools of science that you never would have had access to otherwise. We have, with our eyes and our ears and our other senses, this ability to see the macroscopic world around us, but the tools of science allow us to see a world where things, very strange things can happen. Mm -hmm.